Welcome everyone to Mets Baseball Recap for June 29th, 2021. Uh, the Mets defeat the Atlanta Braves. And this means that at minimum, the Mets will be 500 for the end of for the entire month of June. Uh, they got one more game tomorrow night with the Braves. But um, they're 15 and 14 for the, for the month of June. So we got to talk about this because it's... The Mets have basically played 500 throughout the, the entire month of June. Uh, they are in first. They remain in first. Um, but let's talk about this game before we jump on to a lot of comments that happened with my last video. But McGill pitched for the Mets. He gave them five innings. He gave up a three-run home run in the fifth inning, if I'm not mistaken. He had eight strikeouts. So overall, good job for the, the, the new guy. You know, his second start, I believe. No, it gave the Mets what they needed, which was five innings. Uh, of starting both uh, starting p pitching whatever basically, um, so the Mets were down three nothing. The Mets were swinging at some of the worst pitches. Some Mets had some of the worst swings in the world, um, but in the seventh inning, Dominic Smith led off with a hit. Then um, I believe it um, Pilar took a walk, and to me that was the game changing walk because that pitch was definitely a strike. And he definitely swung at that pitch. Um, the umpire, you know, asked for help. The umpire said no, he didn't swing. And Pilar ended up working out a walk. And then McCann with the big blast to tie this game. McCann had some some ugly swings before he hit the home run. Uh, swinging at pitches that were in the dirt away. He looked lost. But then when he hit the big bomb, you go, oh, I guess uh, it's all or nothing <laughs> with his swing. So good job, McCann, to tie this game. And then um, the Mets will end up, no, with no outs. Uh, I believe it was, I can't remember. I think it was Pil uh, not Pil Pilar. It's the walk. Sorry, it's late, tired. Didn't review this. But um, if I'm not mistaken, um, I think it was Peraza who got onto base. He got bunted over. Uh, McNeil looked lost. His swings were so bad. Um, but Lindor will come through and singles in um, the, the go-ahead run, the winning run in this case. And the bullpen locked it down. Um, no, we had four innings of bullpen. No, that gave up nothing. I think they gave up one hit in the eighth. The ninth was a little scary. There was a monster shot that was just fouled um, by uh, Diaz. But Diaz locked down his save, 17th save of the season. And good job of the Mets to uh to win. Um you know, now to address the comments from yesterday, because I said it's maybe time to start thinking about firing Luis Rojas. And there was a lot of people back and forth saying that it won't happen, it can't happen, the Mets aren't first. No, it's not his fault. And I want to just have this analogy of a traditional working environment. If your players or your staff who work under you are not doing their job. It's your job to get them in line. I and, and, and they, this was mentioned in the commenting uh, by Ron Darling. I believe it was Ron Darling and 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 Guy Cohen. They were saying how you know at what point does uh, Luis Rojas talk to his players? And I'm like thinking in my head, shouldn't he already be talking to them? Shouldn't he already be addressing the offensive issues? Like. This isn't a one batter issue. This is an issue between the entire lineup that's just has a very bad approach at their plate. Those swings are ugly. Like a lot of the swings that they're doing are just ridiculously terrible swings. Um, no. So to hear that, it, it makes me question what is he actually doing? Is, is he not talking to his batters? Is he not communicating with the batting coach? Is he not doing his, his job as a manager? Uh, again, looking at this at a, at a off, no, like not involved in the clubhouse or anything, you know, he has to be the guy who, who makes everyone click, talks to people, get the clubhouse rolling, you know, puts people in a better position, better mood, better mindset. But that's not happening. And I, I don't. You know, and to hear that, hey, at what point does Luis Rojas actually start talking to his team 
or or pulling players aside to talk to them. I mean, that should be already happening. Um, so that that's a that's a strange comment to hear from the commentating team. So, that being said, like I said, Mets winning is always a good thing. I am happy to see the Mets win. Um, but our offense is still bad. We definitely need to to hit the ball. <laughs> Um, we didn't hit the starter at all. The starter, no, and he only got hit towards the end when uh, McCann hit the three or home run. He was definitely tired, and he left a, a fat one. But he did fool McCann early in that that bat, and like I said, Pilar should have been struck out, and Mets got a break, a huge break on that one. And that's a good no. That that's a, a play that could change the momentum because one out, McCann could hit into a double play. Uh, but in the set, it was first and second with no outs and a uh, big blast. Ties the game. Big, big difference. Guys, no. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. I definitely like to reply. I definitely like to have conversations with people. I always i am open to hear everyone's side of, of, of how they feel. So feel free. Um, and if, no, maybe if... Uh, if I get this video gets enough likes, maybe uh, we'll, maybe you'll see, maybe run a Discord or something. Do a live uh, Mets chat with people. I think that'd be fun. 